Hello everyone, welcome to Assign Graphics on another exciting voiceover tutorial video and on this tutorial today we are going to be learning how to make album cover for video game and music and EDC. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Now we go over to our PZ lab, we open our PZ lab and from there we delete the new text you see on the screen there. Yeah, then we move uh, we move and uh, we change the screen color. Me, I'll be using the gradient blue. I already made it there. You can make yours too, but it's just a light blue. I'll be using the color as my background color. Now we go over there. We import a shape. So for the disc, we're gonna be using the cycle shape. We we'll adjust it like that. I yeah, will change the color to dark. Yep, that's what we're gonna be using. From there, what you do next? We make a duplicate of this uh, zero shape change the color to white color here there again you reduce the size you reduce the size from there we head on change the duplicate again you change the color to something like orange or red a kind of red so that yeah we will cut through that so now we're gonna put it there we change the color like that yeah, you're watching assign graphics and in this tutorial I'm, i'll be explaining to you in detail how to make a 3d um, gaming gaming uh, album cover and video 3d gaming album cover so and all in all this tutorial you're gonna learn a lot you see i'm adjusting my zero you put it to the middle don't forget to subscribe to my channel now you merge the first two the white and the orange color a shape now you make them together don't forget to hit the notification button don't forget to give the thumbs up the like on my channel yeah you adjust it make sure you bring it to the center alignment you will okay there now you make both the dark color zero shape and the green i mean and the white and orange you make them together then you go for erase color clicking the erase color the default color that we erase from there will be the white automatically now we have gotten our disc what you are going to do next for you to make this thing successfully, you need to make a duplicate. Center them, make sure they are together in the same position. Make sure they are together there. Then you make them together. Make them together. Now it has become an object, a transparent object, which means you can insert anything on the background and it will just. Then you head up the texture. You pick the image you want to use. Yeah. I'm using, I'm designing a PS2020 gaming art cover so i'm using messy yeah the uh, the recent world best okay we move from there we shoot now we go over to text we go then we type our words we want to use i'm using ps yes yes 2020 2020 is for assign assign graphics gonna see something 2020 what is gonna see is gonna be you're gonna see on assign graphics in 2020 you're gonna much more is coming from assign graphics change the font today the default font in pixel lab remember pixel lab and exciting app from there you go to the color you highlight the text you want to change the color when you get to the color i'm using red of the blood yeah that's what i'm using next thing i'll do is go to stroke and add stroke yep a dark stroke that's what i'm going to use and then we just try um make um we adjust it down to the disc now you see now it's becoming ps 2020 you make a duplicate to keep it for the casing now we're going to make a casing now you make the two texts together the one on top of the disc and the disc itself together yeah you see them they are made together now you see we are putting the disc of ps 2020 so what next this is the casing now we, we need to make this casing a 3d casing yeah we need to make it a 3d casing we just insert a square shape like that you change the texture you use the same picture like a messy a recent winner of the balloon there yeah you use it there we just insert it you see we enable the maintain ratio so that it, the picture will cover the screen we head on from there we go to embos yep embos we enable embos we do we adjust them like this here come to b level increase it you see we are seeing a kind of a 3d effect now but now from there we head on we bring the test 
okay the distance at the back of the picture now we'll bring it forward so that yeah bring it adjust the size yeah, the size of the test increase it adjust it position it well so that it will look like a ps2020 disc cover and our casing now we merge the text and the shape with line a messy picture on it together now the disc is behind that square shape if i shift the picture now you see the disc next thing you do you go to 3d you enable 3d you do the depth to 8 yes the darkness you increase you, you adjust the size of the shape the size of the 3d shape the wires is rotated them like this you reduce the size when you rotate you reduce the size so that it will fit in the way you want it to be yeah now we go now we want the side to be dark now so what you are going to do we go to is darken then we increase it we increase it to 100 now you see it's dark we've got in a casing a cd casing now the cd now is to place it where it's supposed to be now what we're going to do we bring the cd forward bring it to the front we reduce the size then we make a duplicate now we're going to first of all add a stroke a white stroke now we make a duplicate of the disc then on the duplicate we are going to enable shadow on that duplicate and this is a shadow I'm using a transparent shadow then you go to opacity now you open opacity you don't enable that effect shadow you just reduce the opacity you see the shadow remains there what we do now we adjust it the shadow to the disc adjust it down you adjust the 3d of the shadow the disc shadow adjust it yes now you see adjust it now it's lying straight on the 3d form now now we adjust the main disc we bring this to the front we make adjustment we lock the, the shadow layer we bring the main disc to the front we do the 3d adjustment again you watch the way i'm doing it i hope you're paying attention this is a sign graphic don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button yes you see when we adjust it we increase the size, we reduce the size of the shadow a little. I like the shadow layer, then we reduce the size a little. As I am using my layer. So I, would, I don't make mistakes. I don't just adjust size. I would lock the layer and tap them one by one to adjust it. Now we adjust the 3D shape. We head on. Yes. We drag the disc. Now it's the disc. Now we drag the disc. Now the, the, the shadow again. We adjust the shadow a little bit. Now we adjust the disc a little bit. So that you see the disc has a shadow behind now see the disc shadow is showing in 3d format that's what i'm telling you see the 3d you rotate the x and the y axis rotate on pixel lab check this application it's classic you can use it to make actually anything 3d anything picture 3d you see we've got in a ps casing and a disc outside there it's all positioning in 3d yeah we head on from there now we save our image boom please don't forget to subscribe to assign graphics for more exciting tutorial like this follow us on our instagram and our facebook account at assigngraphics.com twitter and assign graphics thank you